Reading is fun and math is great, but now it's time for Art with Miss Kate. Thank you for the John Bayer rendition of our theme song. Emmy Lou and I are going to read a story today called Pet Satino, and then we're going to make a project based on the story. And you can make it one of two ways. Actually, one of several ways. Okay, so here we have our story. It's called Pezzettino, which means a little piece in Italian. And it is written and illustrated by Leo Leone. Very famous children's book author and wonderful, wonderful at what he does. Pezzettino. His name was Pezzettino. All the others were big and did daring and wonderful things. He was small and surely must be a little piece of somebody else, he thought. He often wondered whose little piece he could be, and one day he decided to find out. Excuse me, he asked the one who runs, am I perhaps your little piece? How could I run if I had a piece missing? said the one who runs, somewhat surprised. Am I your little piece? he asked the strong one. How could I be strong if I had a piece missing? was the answer. And when the swimming one came up to the surface, Pezzettino asked him too. How could I swim if I had a piece missing? answered the swimming one and he dove back into the water. You up there, shouted Pezzettino as he climbed toward the one on the mountain. Am I a little piece of yours? The one on the mountain laughed. Ha! Ah, do you think I could climb mountains if I had a piece missing? Pezzettino asked the flying one too, but the answer was always the same. Finally, Pezzettino went to the wise one who lived in a cave. Wise one, he said, am, am I a little piece of yours? Do you think I could be wise if I had a little piece missing? Answered the wise one. I must be someone's little piece, Pezzettino cried out. How can I find out? Go to the island of Wham, said the wise one. Early the next morning, Pezzettino took off in his boat. After a rough trip on the high sea, he arrived wet and tired on the island of Wham. And by the way, boys and girls, this kind of paper is called marbled paper. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. How strange! The island was nothing but heaps of pebbles. Not a tree, not a blade of grass, and above all, not a single living creature. Pezzettino climbed up and down and up and down and up and down until finally, exhausted, he tripped and he tumbled down and he fell and he broke into lots of little pieces. The wise one had been right. Pezzettino now knew that he, too, like all the others, was made of little pieces. He picked himself up and when he was sure there was not a single piece missing, he ran back to his boat. He rode all night to get home as fast as he could. All his friends were waiting for him. I am myself, he shouted full of joy. And his friends didn't quite understand what he meant, but Pezzettino seemed happy, so they were happy too. The end. So big lesson. Pezzettino learned, I like to read books with big lessons. Pezzettino learned that he should just be himself and he didn't need to compare himself to his friends or to other creatures. So here's one. This is called The One Who Loves, and here's Pezzettino. And I took an advertisement from a magazine and the cover of a magazine, because I don't have any marbled paper. I'm hoping to figure out how we can make it for art at home, by the way. I'll let you know if I figured that out, because I think it'd be really, really cool. So here's one with crepe, which is how Leo Leone did it. And I used yesterday's demonstration from our reflection lesson, because... I don't want to waste paper, because we're not supposed to go to the store. Then I have a bunch of examples, and these ones are made with maps and paper squares. Okay? I save maps, 
from National Geographic, and I was using those. Now, when we were allowed to go back into school to get supplies, we weren't supposed to take very long. So I didn't grab my map collection. So we're going to do our at-home lesson a different way. First of all, you can do it this way. So say you want to cut out something from a magazine. Here's one that I pre-cut. I took the rest of this cover and I put it here. And it wasn't long enough. So then I took a piece of map that I found in my stash that I didn't know I had, and I put it here, okay? Then, and you can glue with Elmer's glue if you want. You can also glue with glue stick. It's up to you. We're going to do the old dot, dot, not a lot. We don't need to use a leg of glue. Don't want to make a big fat mess. You can put your paper this direction, horizontal. You can put your paper this direction. It's up to you. You're the artist, you decide. Here's my little piece of map. Now, I'm going to do this example with squares that are cut. But remember, you can do crayon too. You can decide what you want. So here's a bunch of squares that I grabbed when I was able to come into school. And here's some map squares. And you can make squares out of... These papers are because I've been doing a lot of painting in my home because I moved recently. These are paint samples from the hardware store. Here's one I did where I used newspaper for the base. Okay? And you can put your squares up there. So, really, the sky's the limit. All of our art at home projects, I want you to know that I want you to do them the way that works for you with your supplies. And if you think of a way to do them that I don't think of, that's fine. Do them your way, because I'm not sure what supplies you have in your house and what is easy for you to access, okay? I'm going to switch to glue stick because it might be faster. And if you look at these ones where I used papers, they weren't even all square. Some of them were triangles because I cut them. So you can put down your paper. You can make your little creature. You can layer if you want. That's an art word we've talked about many times. Here's some cut up maps. You could also cut up newspaper. There's really no wrong way to do this, folks. You're the artist. You decide. You could do some with little paper squares and with crayon squares. You could add that to it. It doesn't even have to be all one kind of square. Okay? So here's a finished example with paper squares. Here's a crepe paw version. And here is a version where I started out with newspapers. And now I'm hungry because it was the food section. But I could glue down squares. I could use crepe paw for my squares. I could do both. Okie dokie. That's it, folks. That's it for today. Enjoy doing a paper mosaic or a crepe and mixed media collage. Miss you. Bye-bye.